Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life, but most likely I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mirror. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eye, and I'm... Interesting. Good to hear. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It's a good day for fishing. Come visit again soon. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And 
what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. No riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and cleanses fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. There it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are the plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely 
and you will find a deeper thread. Been anywhere interesting lately? This is all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva, and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstone. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. 
You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it. How do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Are you ready to set sail? I'm ready. On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Joms Vikinger along the paths we travel. Mine could use the rest. This river does not appear on any maps. Few know how to navigate it, but the Yom's Vikinga have been learning its currents. An old friend said it was a smuggling route for... She claimed it was useful in hiding the tracks. In fact, it is so well hidden, you could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Look! There! Villages! Not hoarders of wealth, mind you, but well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations for the crew. Remember, my crew is like a pack of trained wolves. They will respond to your orders. Give them freely and loudly. I've had tougher All fights in taverns. Well, stay alert. The smoke from the flames will alert camps downriver. A 
fighting will get tougher as we go. Military camp. You will find foreign supplies and even gear if you're lucky. They will put up a fight, but so be it, yeah? I can't do this alone. I smell silver here. You were a fighter, yet you didn't join the battle. Biding your time for bigger fights? More of a captain these days. Odd, isn't it? A raider who doesn't raid. Turns out, spending years getting damn near chopped in half leaves you with enough aches and stiff muscles to keep you both bound. Now, come, let us go.
blocked from the other side. Help me out here! to return to Ravenstone. Let the crew hey! know when you are ready. Did crew. That was invigorating. And as lucrative as I promised ya. Think we have got enough supplies here to put something together? Something like what? A place to stay where we can stretch out. Oh. Wouldn't want to bother Aedis and the rest. You know Aedis? Uh, I... I know of Aedis. Her reputation as a fighter and as a trainer precedes her. Simply wouldn't want to get in her way. I see. Well, we have space for a hall. With enough supplies, we can make something in due time. Time since we've had a permanent place to gather and share stories. Come here to hire more Yomsvikinga for your raids. With time, it will attract some impressive fighters. Real talents. Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I am Eivor, though you seem to know me already. 
You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrik's daughter, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Francia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. That would be blood if any here heard I refused a feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. And you would be welcome. Yet, you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? I have other concerns right now. We can feast later. We will be ready for you. Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The King of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the East, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your King should petition Ranvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no King, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay. I will put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely cleared. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. What manner of king is it that sends me letters from Ireland? Canute, 
What are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor. Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. Slayed in front of the children. Easy. Easy. One of a kind look to you. I think. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. All right. Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Stand back! Look there! That's her! She's coming to save us! We love you! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf! 
De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like Dog Wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Chewy, I suppose. Good as any other. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Greetings. Welcome back. You look well-traveled and rugged. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out of your way when you aren't using them. That is... to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebritshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. We mentioned this one.
Randvi mentioned this place. The last known location of the Summer Army. What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. I have heard the name. You helped the sons of Ragnar overthrow the Mercian king. Well met. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of wattle and daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. The Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Aryasko Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. The great battle raged near the Old course. We'll see what else lies within the fog. More sail! What do you see, Sudan? Hey, hold on, you! We can continue. They will attack on sight here.
main markings. Drag the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash. And wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. All his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah? Ah! Ah! You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Granbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Birna, Galin, Liv. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Where's this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elder man Wigmund seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Burn long and hot, bright wolf of the branch, 
and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retaking the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. Maybe you think of soldiers as people and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade. A group of Danes held captive. There! Leaves Longboat. I recognize the hull. If you would be so kind, I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, Leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we've found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. Ah, Leaf is a prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code. Show me. He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. And builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Bunkridge alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise, uncanny, and hard to pin down. Like a fish wriggling free of a net. This longboat is Birnas, I think. Or scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. That's right! Tire yourself out! Weak little kittens! Can't even open the barricaded door! You'll suck my toes when I'm standing on your head! That's fair enough, for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Someone sweeping the hearth outside? We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Birna, I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I've found the others. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sambin. We'll head to the camp now. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time you get back. Vienna is like a grapevine, curly and hard to predict, while Leaf is like a woodbeam, sturdy, straightforward. Vienna has a genius for tactics, sees well ahead of things. Leaf deals with what's just there before him, practical in all ways. Both have helped me find my footing in desperate times. 
It's important to keep those who disagree with you close as family. Sunin, guide me. Terrible. What happened here? The Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I'm hardly standing myself. The blessings of Odin and Freya. They'll be feasting well with the gods. We have a camp nearby. I'll take you there myself. Beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risk your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. More of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp.
Garland, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. Indeed. We all have... Well... <sighs> Leaf. That's right. A long sh. What bit of egg? The day is new and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grand Bridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me, and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. Hey! Let's go! Let the sail! Yeah, yeah. Strike up a tune. Hey! Enemy forces stationed there! Each side of the door. Move when you get the signal and not. Wigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grand Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time! Quit Grand Bridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grand Bridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Now, Danes of Grandbridgeshire, we take what is yours! Look at Grandbridge. What has Wigman done to her? No time for that. We must free her first.
regroup at the Longhouse. We'll surely find them there. Death for any Saxon breathing. No prison. Now you pay for your sins! Hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turn the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city.
My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. Betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Markets are up and running again. Soma doesn't waste time. Hello and welcome. You never know when this might come in handy. Where to replenish your stock? You have an eye for craftsmanship. You won't regret this purchase. You would look very striking with this. This will look very good. All done. I must be on my way now. Soma has just cursed with bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Deserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck.
Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me. Humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well... Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. I can torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Eivor. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. We are a curse, visited upon them all. Leave no house unburnt. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots. Heady turf
That was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Well, my pre- clear. The hair gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. Eivor, my muscle banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less it... How did you come to- I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Ubba, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler. In a world where few saw you as worth- Right. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel- If I knew what was going on in another person's head- In what way? Her own way. Painful truths. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day. But the you and I should take a closer look, my men. Fighting <laughs> beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eyes. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. Everyone is so fucks eared as you. Worse than me. I'll Have keep a look going. Soon, isn't it?
coming for you! One, two, brother. That's all of them. Ah, the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting on the belts. You fought very well, Vienna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drenger. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Did you sell through a store? You never mentioned. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest whose spouse prays, so the plan is. How did you come to join Soma? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum, the great summer army the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grand Bridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grand Bridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. 
When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any gut will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's wealth awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. I'll keep your voice down.
Well struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You proved... You'll get nothing out of me. Nothing! Instant... Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Think you can swill with the best? Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. 
Galen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Galen sees an important meaning. Galen told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Good old comers! Greetings to you, Eivor! Looking for... Did you see anything strange on the night of the attack? Hmm. Come to think of it, I noticed one of the longships wasn't where it usually is. It was beached further north, on the riverbank. Where was this? Northeast of here, along the shore. It's been a few days, though. May not be there now. Exciting. <sighs> You there. Did you see anything strange around Grandbridge before the attack? I didn't. I was in the longhouse drinking with Birna and her man all night. She can really put it away. the regular sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you. I was wondering on a few things. What happened the night of the attack? The people were at peace. A beautiful night, fog and all. Then came the Saxons all around. And Soma roaring like a great bear. When she called a retreat, we ran for the longboats aiming to regroup in the swamps. It was an ambush, no more, no less. It must ache to serve... Some days the pain hits... Someone in the city led the Saxons through the Longhouse Tunnel. When the fighting started, where were you? Drinking with my warriors in the Longhouse. When the Saxons came, I fought. I couldn't have shown anyone the tunnel. Eyes were on me all day and night. Stomach and a powerful thirst!
Eivor, you look like the wind has flipped your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. You told me you often disagree. I do, but I. You said your yellow pick. I, and yellow is not an easy pick. How did you feel then? If being honorable. How did the night of the? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. Leave. Someone showed the Saxons the Longhouse Tunnel. Where were you when the attack started? What were you doing? When the fighting started, I was in my workshop, decorating a sail for our allies in Grimsby. Without my yellow paint. By the time Soma gathered me to retreat, the city was under attack from within. I was nowhere near the tunnel. Nowhere. Show me what lies ahead. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Liv, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in... Where are these long... Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To be sure. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Northex. And I am its kingdom. Yes, from short sad to you, I... A good arm. Tough lands, old man. Those rats. They are. Ha! You need. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
asked about this lad, my friend. Stretch your wings, Zoom.
to build this tunnel. to the longhouse. The trader marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. Trail of yellow paint drops. I feel your army of cats have a destiny unrealized. You are a Freya of the Fens. What? Who the hell is Freya? Is she the whore that tried to eat my cat queen last week? She is a goddess, much like you, with pious and mighty cats that help her fight. Show your claws, good lady. Oh yes, mighty. That is what they are. And me, their goddess. Hmm. If you want, use this key and see for yourself. Ooh, my pretty babies. There you are. Head to the fields. Tat tat. Fight your battle. They should get some air. I guess I am. Like this Freya you spoke of. I should release them and use them as warriors. <gasps> oh. Cats are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of. Pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel. Survey the area, Sunan.
This long ship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? This carving reference is gallon in verse. Aid me, be my eyes. Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering. The visions you've had about you and Soma. A piercing question. I believe it means that Soma will lead me. Why were you at death's door and so- I left my clan to pursue my vision. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled, you may not understand. But Soma does. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. Why was your longship... Was it yellow? I don't recall. 
You could ask Lee. I'm trying to find who betrayed Soma to the Saxons. I could use your help. I wish I could help. The night of the attack, I was meditating on the shore, far from prying eyes. I was alone that night. And until Saxons appeared, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I hope that's enough. Hail. Did you see? I saw someone run from the outskirts of Grant Bridge to the shore. Did anything strange happen? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. I think they were messengers. Can I help you with something else? I was wondering. I found your yellow paint barrel near the river. Did you? It was stolen from my workshop not long ago. I found it on the riverbank. It was empty. I should be going. Did you find enough clues around Grampridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? Vietnam was drinking in the longhouse when the attack began. Others can attest to that. Hardly the behavior of someone expecting an attack. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Leif told me he was working in his shipyard the night of the attack. The shipyard is exposed and far from the tunnel entrance. Not the ideal man to lead Saxons into the city. I found Gallen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Gallen had no alibi. No one can place his location on the night of the attack. He's an odd one, that man. But he is a man, not a toddler. He doesn't need a constant watch. A local said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No, they couldn't be seen through the fog. But whoever it was, they knew something bad was coming. Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must.
my family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Thor himself could now drink me. You, Dane! Come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but... Of what do you speak? I speak of a terror... Fergal the Faceless. The most fierce... Oh. Oh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before... I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My God! You are braver than most... Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no, it is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go, go now, and God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. 
I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big, smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. It's the weakest attempt I have yet heard to disgrace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat, and we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. We are arguing as to your talent. I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Fergal the Faceless or Fergal the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello?
Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding. At the summit of the hill, I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. My palms itch. Where is that rat? I am going to skin him alive on sight. I will tear his throat from his neck with my teeth.
Vikinger! Stop him! to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Their whole hopes. Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. Your name will soon be a ghost. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. I would have done the same in your position. That is calming to hear. Which reminds me. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yaltskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. B. 
Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Bridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenge. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Let's tell her the good news. Good day, Eivor. Eivor, you're back. Absolutely not. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls his friend. And to the south, Soma Jalskona and the Danes of Granderbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, 
We have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roar is already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! That the last of them. The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Gidland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find. An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. 
He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Those invaders. I would like to see. You have a keen eye for quality. <laughs> Done for now. I will see you later. Be well, my friend. This is fine work, really. Thank you for seeing this done.
This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. like something. Looks like something is happening near Volker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Thank you. 
work, Eivor. Are you the man? It's my gr- Besides, I do. Baker is done, Tarvin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... You are among friends. No need. One kind, a grain. I cannot help no... No, Russ. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. 
If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keeps... Oh, and before you go, could you spare a... I do not have the time right now, but I will return. Soothe me, and may all thoughts of chaos fade. 